A thanksgiving for F.D. Maurice by George MacDonald The veil hath lifted and hath fallen, and him who next it stood before us, first so long, we see not, but between the cherubim the light burns clearer, come, a thankful song. Lord, for thy prophet's calm commanding voice, for his majestic innocence and truth, for his unswerving purity of choice, for all his tender wrath and plenteous ruth, for his obedient, wise, clear listening care to hear for us what word the word would say, for all the trembling fervency of prayer with which he led our souls the prayerful way, for all the heavenly glory of his face that caught the white transfigurations. Shine and cast on us the reflex of thy grace, of all thy men late left, the most divine, for all his learning, and the thought of power that seized thy one idea everywhere, brought the eternal down into the hour, and taught the dead thy life to claim and share, for his humility, dove clear of guile, the sin. Denouncing, he, like thy great Paul, still claimed in it the greatest share, the while our eyes, love sharpened, saw him best of all. For his high victories over sin and fear, the captive hope his words of truth set free, for his abiding memory, holy, dear, last, for his death and hiding now in thee, we praise, we magnify. Thee, Lord of him, thou hast him still, he ever was thine own, nor shall our tears prevail the path to dim that leads where, lowly still, he haunts thy throne. When thou, O Lord, ascendest up on high good gifts thou sentest down to cheer thy men, lo, he ascends, we follow with the cry, his spirit send thou back in thine. Again.